We're continuing to answer your questions about the coronavirus with Cone Health's Chief Physician Executive, Dr. Bruce Swords. Remember, you can text your questions. The number is at the bottom of your screen, 336-379-5775. All right, Dr. Swords, this person says, what would you recommend for grandparents visiting uh, their newborn at this point if the grandparents are still working with the general public? Yeah, tough question. Uh, certainly a lot of excitement around uh, having a new grandchild around. And the, the safest thing to do is to really not hold the baby, don't cuddle it. Uh, I think if you were to go see the baby and stay six feet apart with a mask for a short period of time, uh, that will have to do for now. Um, we really don't understand the risks of COVID to newborns, uh, but it's the safest thing to just uh, stay away the best that you can. Mm -hmm. We have a couple more questions that deal with the flu shot and the vaccine. This person texts, if the COVID-19 vaccine comes out, can I get it in addition to the flu shot? Well, the real answer is we don't know. Uh, my best guess is yes. And certainly you should get the flu shot now uh, it's available um, in lots of different places. So just go ahead and get the flu immunization now. Um, if we're lucky enough to have a coronavirus vaccine in the next several months, uh, almost for sure you'll be able to get the vaccine at that time. And the two won't play off each other in some way that you should not get both of those? We don't know that information now. It's very unlikely that that would be the case. This is a follow-up question. They're asking, should you get the flu shot now or should you wait till October? Because I think they're thinking that if they wait till October, then they have one more month in the winter season. There's always a discussion around how long does the flu immunization last and how long do you stay um, immune to the influenza uh, virus? And again, we really don't know that data. We do, the flu shot's going to stay the same whether you get it now in October or November, and it's going to be active against the virus for which it was made. And so given that, my recommendation is get it now. You don't have to worry about it. You're going to stay immune. You'll stay immune through um, the winter and into the spring and really not have to worry about uh, getting the flu immunization again. Mm -hmm. This text question asks, if you had a positive test, how long are you immune and could you get it again? Another great question. Again, we really don't know how long someone stays immune to the virus. Um, and we have done antibody tests and understanding whether people have been exposed and does that really convey immunity? Uh, we are quite certain that uh, immunity lasts for at least many weeks, 90 days, um, and we really don't know if people can contract the same coronavirus again or not. Um, my gut feeling is that people stay immune for many months and really don't have to worry about it uh, in that period of time, other than use the common sense safety measures that we've said for a long time. Wear a mask, stay away from each other. Well, there's several follow-up con uh, conversations going on right now with that. This first one is, is there more than one strain of coronavirus? I think your question is, um, are there more strains of this coronavirus? So I'll speak generally first. Uh, we know there are a lot of coronaviruses out there and many of us have had one or the other. It's a common cold. Uh, typically, uh, there are likely some strains of this COVID-19. We don't really know that, but there's probably some uh, evolving of the virus, um, but not dramatic such that we think it's a completely different virus. All right, we are continuing to take your text questions. You can see it there at the bottom of your screen, the 336-379-5775, and we'll be back in just a few moments.